It is in our nature as humans to want to calculate and formulate the plan of how our manifestation will come into play. If we're manifesting a specific person, the 90% of us will go, okay, I want that text and it has to say this specific thing because surely that will then lead to us meeting up maybe. And then if we meet up, we might sleep together, we might not. But if we don't, hopefully that will lead to like a proper romantic date. And then on that romantic date, we can talk things through or we can get closer and then that will lead to a relationship somewhere down the line. And boom, there we go, we're in our relationship. That's the way that most of us go. Or if it's a job, you look on Indeed and then you go and get the interview and you do the interview and then you get the job. There's so much formulating and calculating in order to manifest our desires. But I can honestly say this, having had multiple different successes, big and small, and multiple different failures, manifesting in steps is never optimal. Ever is it optimal. I will never actually recommend manifesting in steps to someone. I might bend the knee a little bit and help someone manifest in steps if they genuinely want to, but I would never recommend it. And in this, I want to tell you two stories. Well, one story and one kind of anecdote from a different situation where manifesting in steps has failed me and actually made me feel worse than if I just hadn't done anything at all. So the story, let me start with the story. This was, again, at the beginning of my uh, manifestation journey, like Monday's video, but unlike Monday's video, this is a little bit further ahead. This is when I was getting manifestation successes, but I hadn't really gained the trust to go to the end end result and let the unfolding happen. Instead, I was doing the calculating and the formulating. I wanted the text to prove to me that it could work because if I could get the text, then surely I'd be able to get the date. And if I could get the date, then surely I'd be able to get the relationship. That was my way of thinking. So back then, my, my YouTube feed, my everything that I could possibly imagine, my Reddit feed, whatever it is that you could possibly look for answers on, was filled with how to manifest a text, affirmations to manifest a text, visualizations that would manifest a text, and so on and so forth. And I did them all. I put them all into practice. Like Monday's video, I'd kind of gained the understanding that I needed to stay aligned to this outcome as well outside of my affirmations. So I was a lot more confident. Now, a few weeks went by of me doing this and I woke up one day and lo and behold, I did actually have the text. But this is what the text said. I am only, or paraphrase, I can't remember exactly, but I am only in your town for today. So if you want to meet up, we can maybe have a little conversation about it. But if not, I think that will be it for us. Sounds great, right? Sounds like it would lead to something. I was across the country. I couldn't drive. I didn't have any money at the time to get the train back or anything like that. And therefore, I missed, <clears throat> I missed my opportunity. Obviously, now I understand that opportunities are never missed because you can basically re-manifest. But back then, in my head, I was like, that's it. Surely that's it. It's done. My manifestation came in and I missed it. But that's why the manifesting in steps failed me. I was manifesting a text and I got my text. I succeeded at manifestation. I got the text. But because my focus was nothing more than the text... My manifestation led to nothing more than the text. I got the opportunity that I wanted, that logically I wanted to be the case. But because as far as I was showing my subconscious mind, it was nothing more than a text. That was all I got. And lo and behold, I missed my opportunity because I was manifesting in steps. Now, if I'd gone to the end result of being in a relationship, or even if it was just dating at that point, because I wasn't really 100% sure if I wanted a full-blown relationship... But let's just say it was dating at that point. That text offering that kind of opportunity would have come in at a time where I could have gone and met up and talked things through. The reason why I wasn't sure if I wanted a relationship or just date was because I wasn't sure if I wanted to go back to it properly or whether I was just holding on due to memories, which is why I'm sort of unsure. But if I had been manifesting a relationship or at the very least going on dates with this individual, then my text or that text would have come in in a way that either stated that we could, you know, sort it out when we can sort it out or at a time when I would have been able to get back to my hometown to then have this date because that's the way my manifestation would have gone. But because I was only focusing on the text, that was as far as it had got. I can do anything with that text and it was a manifestation finished. Therefore, I lost out on my opportunity. Another sort of like instance where this is also similarly a case is another person that I was kind of like somewhat interested in and I was manifesting texts and meetups, but each time, 
I'd get the text and then I'd have to focus on the next text and then I'd have to focus on the meetup. But if I tried to get a meetup through, you know, hey, you know, let's meet up, I would always be bailed on. The only way that I could get a meetup back then was to align my awareness to the meetup. And then it would eventually happen in sometimes amazing ways, as we obviously already know, but then it wouldn't happen again fluently unless I manifested it. I was stuck in the steps of getting a text, then the next text, then the next text, then the next text, or the meetup, then the meetup, then the meetup. But it never went further because my awareness was never placed on it going further. Therefore, I was succeeding in my manifestations left, right and center. I was getting each text. I was getting each meetup. But that was as far as I was focusing. So that was as far as my subconscious mind could possibly push out. So when it comes to your manifestation process, in conjunction with Monday's video of ensuring that the state of consciousness that you're in aligns with your affirmations as well, you want to stay aligned to the end result so that everything can fluently move. If you're trying to consciously apply planning and logic to your manifestation process, you are inhibiting the subconscious mind to do what it does best. You're potentially delaying your manifestation. And if you're doing it in the steps method, like I I reference here, you are quite possibly going to get that step and it not go any further. I'm not going to guarantee it. My experiences show that it's a guarantee. But, you know, there might be some people out there that have been fortunate enough to get past it somehow. But why would you want to run that risk? Imagine all the effort that you put in to manifest a text from this person and then you get the text and it goes nowhere. You could have put that same effort in for a loving relationship or dates at the very least and it would have led to that. So when it comes to manifesting in steps, whether you're actually doing the manifesting in steps or whether you're trying to consciously plan how your full manifestation is going to happen, I would highly, highly, highly recommend you let all that go. Those thoughts are only coming from either a lack of trust in it actually working out, as in the subconscious mind being able to get you from where you are to the end result, fear that it won't work out, micromanaging. And if you're micromanaging, that typically comes from what we see kind of a state of lack. You're trying to make it happen because you don't trust it. But micromanaging typically creates stress. And I can honestly say that the more that you stress when it comes to manifestation, the absolute less you control. Stress only ever comes from things not working. Bliss and peace comes from things working. So if you are feeling a state of stress or if your actions and thoughts are coming from that state of stress, you are going to get in your own way because you are quite literally the opposite of what you would be if you had your end result, which would be peace, bliss, happiness, joy, whatever kind of emotions and thoughts that align with those. Because we get more of what we are, not what we want, if you're acting upon a, a state of stress, you will be given more things in your reality that cause you to act upon a state of stress. If you're coming from a place of bliss and you're thinking blissful thoughts and sort of aligning with a blissful state, you will be given more things in your reality that allow you to come from that blissful, peaceful, calm state. So when it comes to manifesting in steps, everyone has their reasons for why they want to do them. Some people claim that they're just more logical than others and therefore they struggle to let their subconscious mind do what it does. Okay, what does that say? That says, I don't have my desire. I need to use logic to get me there. What does that say? Keep pushing out reality where I don't have my desire because I'm not aligned with that outcome. So whatever your reason is as to why you're manifesting in steps, please learn from my experiences because I can assure you that first one, that was a kick in the face. Knowing that it could have worked, but because I'd done it in steps, it didn't, was actually worse for me than the entire period of time where I had no movement whatsoever. Because this was like being absolutely starving and finally being handed some food and then they rip it out in front, uh, rip it out from in front of you. I'd have rather just carried on being starving without even knowing what was there as an option. So no matter what your reason for manifesting in steps is, I can assure you that you need to work through that so that you can go to the end result. Align with the having that job already. Align with having that relationship already. Align with being in that new home, having that income, having the bills already paid, as opposed to trying to logically affirm that you've got an interview or trying to affirm that you got the text or trying to affirm that, um, I don't know, your whatever has paid you money. Just go to the end, end, end result. Align with that 
create the state of consciousness that shows that you're already in that and anything that needs to happen in the interim to get you from where you are now to where you want to be will be resolved for you. And it is always resolved in a much better way than you could consciously imagine. And it is always resolved in a <coughs> way that is much more fulfilling. And I can assure you, it is so much less effort. I know it may not sound like it, going to the end, being less effort than sort of working it out yourself. But honestly, it is. If you can just align to that end result and stay true to that end result using the content that you hear from me and all the other thousands of coaches, that will be more successful and more enjoyable and fulfilling than looking at the 3D and trying to consciously plan how you can navigate past it and overcome it. So heed my warning, go to the end result, claim that it's already the case through your affirmations, your visualizations, your scripting, whatever it is, and let the middle be worked out for you. Enjoy the destination within your mind and allow yourself to enjoy the journey while things get pieced together. Let it be a moment of mystery and excitement and joy because the next day could be the next best thing that's ever happened to you. With all of my manifestations where I've gone to the end result, they have always come in in the most crazy of ways. When I've manifested money, I've woken up to 800 pounds worth of uh, paid uh, invoices from someone that I haven't spoken to in like nine months. With the person that when I was trying to consciously uh, arrange the meetups and it wasn't work, well, it wasn't working, when I aligned with having already met up with them in my mind, the most crazy instances would happen where it would end up being the case. So just go to the end result. Let go of the need to control. Let go of the lack of trust. Let go of the, but if I do it in steps, it'll be quicker because I can assure you it's not. And just go to the end result. Let your subconscious mind do what it does best, which it does far better than any human could possibly do and actually mold this reality to get to you to where you want to be in the fastest way possible, the most fulfilling way possible, and the way that benefits you. I really hope this video has helped. If it has, drop me a like and a comment just to push out on the algorithm to help more people with this message. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and be sure to click that bell icon because YouTube doesn't always recommend my videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.